And has, has anyone got any questions of staff? Um, Jan Johansson. Thank you. Um, I think Councillor Turner also raised um, the question, but the decision to go to 67% or the staff recommendation versus 100% seems like a little bit of a lost opportunity given how much um, it, it's not a huge extra cost and given that we've heard from, you know, obviously the community really keen to be involved, work with us, fundraise possibly around some of those extra things. So I just, I wanted to hear from staff as to what would be the process for um, getting it up to 100% in terms of the, the work and the delays or extensions of time and also how are you planning on working with the local community and obviously the, the Friends of the Gaiety and the Gaiety Trust to make sure that they're in, in, intimately involved in the project. Um, okay, so we have recommended 67 because basically that's the target we've suggested. I mean, staff are um, favouring the 100% option, the difference being the costs and obviously the methodology because we've got increased steel sizes and everything else. Um, that is the issue as far as between the 67 and the 100%, it's the cost. Um, with regard to your other question, I've been engaging with the friends of the gaiety and the local community um, since I've taken over this. Um, we've had various meetings. You'll see within here there is um, a, main, a list of maintenance items included asking for funding. That is what I have cherry-picked out of the frogs list of what needs to be done to the gaiety. Um, so that is just essential maintenance. Following today's meeting, I'm meeting up with the asset owners to go through this wish list to get an idea of funding we can have to cover off the, these ex additional items. Then I'll be engaging with the frogs again to see what we can actually do. Um, Andrew Turner. Um, thank you very much. The um, methodology, as I understand it, then between the 67% and the 100% um, standard of NBS, the repair methodology, methodology is the same. Am I writing under, in understanding that the only difference is the size of the steel that goes into the, it's essentially the same job, but it's the, the, the amount of steel that goes into it or the strength or, or size of the steel that differs? On the basis of this report that's been requested, yes. Um, I will caveat that with our heritage people have not had the significant time I normally give them to go over this methodology and make sure that they're 100% comfortable with it. So we're giving you what information we have at the moment. Um, the steel is the likely option. Um, if we go into further detail, there may be um, a wooden option to that. I don't know yet, but at the moment, that, that's the best information we can give you at the moment. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Have you got? Would you like to join at the end of the table? Or you, um, I mean, you, you're all over this. I mean, the, the question is for us. I mean, there's an appetite around the table to go to the hundred percent. Yep. So, um, so, I mean, uh, I mean, and uh, if the difference in the cost is as you say, uh, and assuming that we're talking at the, you know, that the um, that the recommendation is at the at at the um, you know high end for for um, sixty seven percent, if it's going to cost an extra, what is the difference about fifty thousand difference? Then I don't think that there's a there's a view around the table. But uh, am I hearing from you that that could that could ex expand out? Well, it could go either way, to be honest, because um, we've just done a best guess at this stage. So for the hundred percent. For the hundred. The specific question was asked of our engineers. Look, you've, you've done the extensive report for sixty-seven. Give me a paragraph I can take to council for a hundred, and that's what they've given me. And the caveat is that it, it is estimated. What I will say is we'll do our best. But I can't promise I won't come back to you later saying the 100% um, may require more money or, or to be less, perhaps. Given, given the, um, the, the answer that you gave to Councillor Turner, um, would it be correct to say that you could proceed uh, with the recommendation as it is 
um, because the um, to bring it to 67% of code doesn't require you to address the steel issue first. I mean, it's the, the back of the stage, isn't it, is the top issue? No, the back of the stage is the, ply, the plywood um, is, strengthens that back of the stage wall. The steel is just basically increasing the, the strength across the building. So, but, but if we fix the stage, what percentage of code? 34. The, sorry? It'll be 34. It'll be 34. Correct. So, so if, if, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that we approve the funding that is the current 100% allocation, um, and if they can do, do up to 100% in that uh, allocation, great. If they can't, it goes to 67%. Yeah, I think that's the solution. So, um, are there any other questions that we'd like to put first? Because we're going to have to um, have I, an amendment move. Can I just respond to that? Um, obviously, when we're doing the 67 and 100 per cent, the material we, we order is different. Yes. Um, so obviously, we'd have to make that decision ahead of it. Yes. But but you can proceed to um, to the work on the back of the stage that's before you have to make that final call on what you're ordering. That's correct. Right. So, and that would take it to 34 per cent, um, which is legally allowed to be used? Yes. All right. Yanni Johansson? I just, I just think that the Deputy Mayor's suggestion is a really good one, that we, um, we just uh, say that we aim for a target of 100% of MBS as per um, the funding that's been recommended by, or, or put in total estimated by staff. Um, and I think we just enable staff to get on and, and try and do do that with the budget that they've set. Obviously, if there's additional funding, there's options for talking to the community about whether they're doing fundraising and whether they might like to contribute. Um, but I, I think we need to get on and just send the signal that we do want staff to target 100%, um, but we do set it within the bounds of the funding that's been estimated. Yep. So we do have to amend the resolution? Yeah, so I'm, I'm yeah. going to take an amendment from Andrew Turner on that. Yep. As you've obviously done some work on the difference between 67 and 100 percent, although it's a ballpark figure, what is the timeline to get a, a an actual figure? So, I mean, we're not talking months. You've actually no, done no. work, so it's actually a very short process because no. I, I realise we want to move on this for this community. Yeah, I mean, what we've done is we've taken the D and we've produced these this detail quickly. We're in the process of doing of finalising the figures and giving some more detailed design now. But obviously, we still have to engage the heritage people with the methodology. So I would say it's a matter of a few weeks to get that resolved. Thank you. And you say you haven't consulted with the heritage. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. yeah. Mayor and councillors, I'm just urging caution on how we take this forward. There's, we're all clear we want to take it forward. We've got very good information on bringing it up to 67%, right? Um, when we hear um, the words like ballpark, might go up, might go down, um, uh, it concerns me that you're making decisions without all the information there. So we just need to be clear what it is, how we, how we get this moving forward. So can I suggest we approve the restoration of the Gaiety to Hall to at least 67% yeah. and that if it can be repaired to 100% within the budget allowed here, then it go ahead to 100%. Except that, that the resolution will cap the cost at 67% at 624,400 and there, there isn't the provision to come back for more. So. Um, to, to bring to 67%. The 100% is up to um, 675,000. So the resolution goes to 675,000. 675 is for the 100%. Well, no, no. Yeah. Could, I, could, yeah. Could I just add one point? I mean, if, we, if, if you did 
cap it and we had additional funding. I have a massive list of stuff we could do for, on the gaiety. Right. Andrew. If we were to um, amend the resolution to read 100% um, and capped at 675,000, then if staff weren't able to do that, they would be coming back to us to tell us that they couldn't do that, which would then give us two options to direct, one of which would be, well, it can't be done within the resolution, so then we need to go to 67 rather than 100 because we can't afford to go to 100 within the way that we framed the resolution, or there would be a need to find some more funds, whether that were from the community or whether it were reducing the cost of some aspects of the, the work by maybe the community helping with, I think some painting was mentioned, or there, there might be other areas that that could happen, so that it can be done within the 100%. But ideally, I'd, I'd like to make a decision today that we address the issue by um, allowing funds of up to 675,000 with an aim of going to 100% of code. And if that's not possible, then let, let's hear about it. But let's work in a world where that is possible at the moment based on the advice in the report. When will you know, when will you know the, um, you know, the, the actual cost? Because uh, the, the reason, my, the, there is a side of me that wants the, the, the hall open, mm. you know, and if all that's required to open the hall is to fix the back. And I think the advice is, is that if you don't do it all at the same time, then you increase the cost. Um, but, you know, <laughs> faced with a choice, getting it open and utilised by the community would be well, fantastic. When I did my visit over there before I met you, um, I put that to the community expecting that same response, and I didn't get that. Um, the general feeling was, if you're going to close it and reopen it, do the permanent works. Yeah, I know, but, uh, yeah. but when we... Yeah, anyway. So. Can I just, just a really easy amendment as I see it, is just that we've proved that earthquake repair strengthening and overdue maintenance of the gaiety up to 100% NBS at a total cap cost of 675,000. That's what Andrew's already moved. Um, 6.2 that we set aside up to 675,000 from the thing. Is there any reason why we couldn't just do that, send that signal to staff? And then they can, as Andrew has correctly said, you know, they can come back to us if they if they feel like, and talk to us about options if that can't be done. But it gives them some flexibility and it enables progress to be made. So, um, so, so are councillors quite happy for the um, building to be repaired to? 600 um, to 67% of the new building standard if it costs 675,000. Is that what people are saying? Jamie Goff. Yeah, thanks. Um, look, my concern around that is I yeah. think what I'm hearing so far is I think that sounds, I think it sounds nice in theory, I think it sounds logical in theory, but I, my experience has been that, it, that it's actually almost saying go down an ambiguous road because it sort of sounds good now and I almost wonder if it creates more uncertainty than anything else. You know, the reality is for going to 100% of code, you have to go down one path. So you go to 67% of code, you have to go down the other path. It, it's not like saying, well, just screw the screws a bit tighter then if need be, if you've got the money, and that makes it uh, uh, higher NBS. The fact of the matter is 100% of, um, or 60% of NBS uh, is 100% of the last code. It is not an unsafe building. We've had 25,000 earthquakes, that hasn't come down. I love the building, it's the jewel in the crown of mm. Akaroa let's just get it open, but I just think that what we're seeing is just more uh, ambiguity than anything else, which is just what we can't afford to do. My question around this after, with that in mind, is, um, is I'm feeling really uncomfortable when we're just getting estimates around this. What I want to know is just in black and white, what is the cost going to be to 100% of code, what's the 67% uh, of code costs, scope of works um, and, a, um, and a quote. And then we just go for it. And, and to be perfectly honest, if, um, if that was 624.4k, no more, 67% of code, I'd just go for it because that's got certainty. But it sounds like there's more ambiguity around 100% of code. And in all essence, you're creating a grey area for not a heck of a lot more benefit. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, would you like to? I, th I think you're right. I think we need to bring back a, a rather than a, a ballpark figure or an estimate, we need to go away and quickly um, refresh that piece of work with our engineers that have done the work to date. 
what we've brought back is in line with the council's earthquake prone building policy, which targets 67 per cent. Well, clearly, we need to bring back the 100 per cent option as well, confirm and base out the costs, and is it at 50 or is it more? And, um, and we can do that. We can be quite agile in that space and come back here and bring the council back those full and final options for decision making. But could we make a decision then right now then if it is 624 for 67% of code that we authorise that to go straight ahead? Yeah, um, that, that's what I was getting to. So um, look, why don't we break for morning tea um, and come back with an actual resolution that we can then vote on? Because I think, I think the solution is precisely that, that we authorise the um, repair and strengthening to 67%. You don't need to come back to us. It's... Um, capped at 624,400. If you can go to 100% um, with a cap of 675,000, you don't have to come back. You can go ahead and do that. If there is, if 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 100% costs more than that, um, then you have you have to come back for the difference. All right, Paul. You look at 4.9. There is no ambiguity, but with the whole thing, it's the same methodology. Uh, it's just bigger steel, so I don't see there's yeah, no. any methodology. It, it is what they order for the steel. That's Correct. all the difference is. All right, so let's, um, let's adjourn for morning tea, and uh, we'll come back here at, um, what, uh, well, 11.05. 11 Thank you.